we discovered buckyballs in space. And buckyballs are these microscopic particles made of carbon that are arranged in a very specific pattern of pentagons and hexagons, which gives them the shape of a soccer ball. Actually, it looks pretty much like a soccer ball. Uh, buckyballs are now the largest known molecules in space, um, and we have discovered them using the Spitzer Space Telescope. We have used that telescope because these buckyballs, they vibrate in all sorts of different ways, and each time they do so, they actually emit specific infrared light. And we can discover that signature of that infrared light, it's very precise fingerprint for each of those uh, species. Um, many people have been looking for them in the last 25 years. They actually have been hypothesized to exist in space since they were discovered in 1985. And so basically I presumed that, that if they would exist in space, they would not be very abundant and might not be um, detected that easily. So that's, that's, I was completely taken aback when I saw that spectrum where these signatures are so clear, where they're not contaminated by any other uh, spectral component. Now that we have discovered that buckyballs actually exist in space, there's lots of opportunities for follow-up research. Um, if we would find these buckyballs only in one object, then it would just be an odd case. The question is now, how many objects do we see where we find these buckyballs? Are those buckyballs really abundant in space? Or are they just in, in, in a niche environment in very, uh, under very peculiar um, conditions or not? Um, and that's what we're working on now. That's, that's one of our follow-up avenues.